Hey there, it's Seth. I'm one of the folks who works with bloggers for AT&T. So if you're watching this video, you're probably really excited about the news out of Apple this week, and you're probably one of our smartphone customers. So let's get right to it. First, on upgrade eligibility. What we've done is expanded our upgrade program, and we've made it so that current iPhone customers whose standard upgrade date was any time in 2010 will be eligible for our best pricing on iPhone on launch day. These new dates have already been loaded into our system, so you can check it out now. There's a bunch of ways to do it. Of course, you can call us or stop into a store, but you can also log on to your My Wireless portal on the web and take a look, or you can get out your phone, dial star 639 pound, and that'll send a free text message to your device with your upgrade date. And you're looking for a note that says that you qualify for standard upgrade pricing. Now, the new AT&T data plans. You might be psyched about the new affordable plans after doing the math. Or maybe you'd rather keep your unlimited data plan when you get that new device. Either will be just fine. Just want to be sure everyone understands. If you're a current AT&T smartphone customer and you like your unlimited plan, you don't have to choose one of our two new data plans. And that's the case even if you're upgrading to the new device or extending your contract. Now, if you've looked at the two new data plans and think they might save you money, of course you're welcome to choose one of those too. And if you've got questions, give us a call or stop by the Facebook page. Oh, and here are some links that you might find helpful. See you around.